Welcome everyone, Rabbit here, and today we're looking at the rabidmining.com website, and I put up a little blog post of some information that is quite interesting about an NVIDIA CMP 170HX card that could be quite interesting when it comes to Ethereum mining. As the title suggests here, NVIDIA CMP 170HX, the best GPU for mining Ethereum to date. Well, let's take a look at this and find out. First up here, Looks like NVIDIA has dropped another CMP GPU, but unlike its previous versions, which seemed way overpriced and underperformed, uh, especially when it compared to its current year counterparts, the 3000 series, 3060 Ti, 3070, 3080, and the 3090, this one has some jaw-dropping performance, but at what price? So what can this car do? Looks like at Code Ford L, out of China, managed to get his hands onto one of these CMP cards and posted some results while we still are not sure how much truth there is to it, but if they are accurate, this thing is a monster when it comes to mining Ethereum. It is shown to have a hash rate of 164 mega hash. That is pretty good. When mining Ethereum with a TDP of 250 watts. Now, if this is true, that's a 0.656 hash to watt ratio, making this card extremely efficient and the best card to date. But at what price? Some reports are putting this in the 3000 USD range and knowing NVIDIA or the AAB who comes with a minimum order of at least a few hundred thousand. Now, if you know the other CMP cards, they will not uh, sell their cards to previous normal residential miners. You could have to have minimum orders of like a million dollars or maybe even a million units and like $20 million depending on the price because uh, who was it? That huge firm, Hut 8 Mining, they made that $30 million purchase. And a regular residential miner like me or most of you guys out there, we're not going to see any of these CMP cars. They are not going to the actual market. You do need massive orders for them to even open the door for you to get one of these things. Supposedly did post. Now, how accurate they are, again, I have no idea. So let's just take a look here. Here have a hash rate on one of them at 158 mega hash, another one at 156. Looking at a power of 190, 191. Now, if you know anything about software, it is wrong. So it's probably around the 210, 220 range. But again, we have no idea what this thing is actually pulling or if these numbers are correct. Here he's using B pool by the looks of things. But these numbers are insane. 158 mega hash, 156 mega hash. So no, the 3090 can get up to about 125 mega hash. So this thing is beating that. So now, now we all know that Ethereum is coming to an end sometime early to mid 2020 or 2022, not 2020. So what does that mean for this GPU? Well, it may do pretty good on Ergo, but coins such as Raven could, could not be so great at this card. It performs much better than a 3090 on Ethereum. It has had its core pretty much stripped clean to the bare minimum needed to perform. And as Ravencoin is uh, on a more core dependent algorithm called Kapow, it may not be up to the task. So what I do mean by that is uh, they put a lot of memory and high speed memory and everything into these CMP cards made specifically for Ethereum and the memory base. But they do have their cores stripped right out so it could, because you don't really need it. Now if you do try to plan on going over to something like Ravencoin, it may not perform like it's 3080 counterpart or something. Or this thing's better than the 3080 but like as those other more core intensive built for gaming cards are, uh, this core is just not up to the task. So it might not perform. Again we don't know because everything is always based on Ethereum when things come out with numbers and everything. And I think we really got to start looking to the future here ethereum will be gone so we're gonna start looking at these core algorithms and all their algorithms because ethereum mining is going to be gone and gpu mining is going to change quite a bit when that does happen so what are your thoughts on nvidia's plan to keep launching these cmp products and how much longer do you think they are going to do it because like we said, Ethereum's going to be gone. So are they going to keep doing these? Are they going to try nerfing other cards for other types of things? I don't think they can really nerf the core when it comes to Ravencoin and stuff. Or you would start hindering gaming performance. Again, I don't know to a T if going to be what's going to happen. But I think that that would limit. And if they start limiting gamers, then what is the point of their GPU in general? So if you do want your own link to this article, of course, it will be in the description. If you want to check this out, including all my merch items and everything, obviously... They are here on my website as well. You just click on the old merch here. I got crypto mining hardware. I got tutorials on CPU mining. Here's some of my merch and I'm going to be adding more right away. 
quite soon here. I'm just thinking of some ideas and other things to put on this website. So thanks for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you on the next one. Rabbit out. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you haven't, please comment, subscribe, and like this video, as well as check out one of these other videos if you have not seen it yet. I do try to stream every Saturday and Sunday, so stay tuned for more future content.